If you like this video, please press the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and also give it a thumbs up. You can also support this channel with a donation by using the link in the description. In this video, we are going to derive the formulas for both time dilation and length contraction from the Lorentz transformations. In these formulas, t equals the time in the primary reference frame, t prime equals time in the secondary reference frame, x is the location in the primary reference frame, x prime is the location in the secondary reference frame, v is the relative velocity between the two reference frames, and c is the speed of light. Gamma is the adjustment factor between the two reference frames. The actual formula for time dilation is delta t divided by gamma equals delta t prime. And the formula for length contraction is L equals L zero divided by gamma. A casual comparison with the Lorentz transformation formulas shows an apparent problem. After all, they seem to be opposites. However, it turns out that both formula derive right from the Lorentz transformations. Starting with time dilation, we need to remember that time dilation is about the change in time, where the Lorentz transformation is between moments in time. So here we start with delta t prime equals gamma times delta t minus v times delta x divided by c squared. The change in x results from the velocity. Next, we separate out the delta x, which becomes v delta t. This gives us delta t prime equals gamma times delta t minus v over c squared times v delta t. This becomes delta t prime equals gamma times delta t minus v squared over c squared times delta t. From here, we simply factor out the delta t. This results in delta t equals gamma times 1 minus v squared over c squared times delta t. If you remember from before, gamma equals 1 over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. This means that our formula reduces to delta t prime equals gamma over gamma squared times delta t, which further reduces to delta t prime equals delta t over gamma. This, of course, is the formula for time dilation. In deriving length contraction, we need to start out by defining L as x1 minus x2. And L sub 0 equals x1 prime minus x2 prime. Now L sub 0 is the proper length. It is the length you would observe if you were in the same reference frame as the object. The key to understanding the difference between length contraction and the Lorentz transformation formula is that the Lorentz transformation formula is dealing with specific points in space where Length contraction is dealing with the distance between two points. So we start out with x1 prime minus x2 prime equals gamma times x1 minus vt minus gamma x2 minus vt. It then simplifies as follows, resulting in x1 prime minus x2 prime equals gamma times x1 minus vt minus x2 plus vt. This then becomes x1 prime minus x2 prime equals gamma times x1 minus x2 plus vt minus vt. Now the gammas cancel out, resulting in x1 prime minus x2 prime equals gamma times x1 minus x2. Substituting L0 and L, we get L0 equals gamma times L, which becomes L0 over gamma equals L. This results in L equals L0 over gamma, or L equals L0 times the square root of 1 minus V2 squared over C2 squared. This is, of course, the standard length contraction formula. I hope you have found this useful and understand the relationship between these formulas. Mm -hmm.